Are you sitting down? Because today we're diving into the exhilarating world of taxes. Yep, I said it. Taxes. But stick with me because we're not just talking about any taxes. We're talking about how choosing the right business structure can keep your hard-earned cash away from Uncle Sam's grasp. Legally, of course. So, you've got a business, or you're thinking of starting one. Congratulations. Now, I'm gonna break down each business structure and their benefits in a moment, but before you think there's a one-size-fits-all answer, let me stop you right there. The truth is, it's not just about picking a business structure. It's about crafting a year-round tax strategy. Yes, choosing the right structure is very important, but it's only about 20% of the battle. The other 80%? That's your ongoing tax strategy, consisting of tax planning, projections, and preparation. Also, it's not as if one entity structure is simply better than another. It's about knowing which one best suits your business. The best way to find that out is by having a professional accountant at your side. And one more thing to remember, paying taxes isn't all doom and gloom. It means you made a profit. But with the right accounting solution, you can keep those taxes as low as legally possible. Now, let's get into the different business entities and how taxes are applied to them. Let's start with sole proprietorships, shall we? Sole props are like you and your business being one and the same, legally speaking. No fancy paperwork separating your personal and business assets here. Now, you might be thinking, is staying a sole proprietor the way to go for me? Well, if it's just you, or maybe you and a couple of helpers, and the cash flow is more of a gentle stream than a raging river, sticking as a sole proprietor could make a lot of sense. The thing is, when it comes to taxes, you're not looking at a gold mine of savings, but there are definitely some perks. If you're paying for health insurance, using part of your home as an office, or driving your car for your business, guess what? You might get to deduct those expenses. Pretty neat, right? And if you're thinking about the future, setting up an SEP, or Simplified Employer Pension Retirement Plan, could be a smart move that also lowers your tax bill. Plus, if you're employing family members, there could be some tax advantages there too. All right, let's dive into partnerships. Imagine you're not flying solo anymore. Instead, you've got a co-pilot or two, maybe even a whole crew. That's what stepping into a partnership is like. It's when two or more folks or entities decide to join forces and own a business together. This setup is super handy if you're holding on to property or have your hands in non-operating goodies like stocks, bonds, or securities. Now you might be thinking, hey, this sounds a lot like being a sole proprietor. And you'd be right. Partnerships share a bunch of benefits with sole props. When it comes to tax time, partnerships have some sweet deals too. One being the way you can tailor the benefit structure. Whether you're all about splitting profits, working with capital partners, or something else, you can set up your operating agreement to divvy up the assets just the way you like. And here's the cherry on top. The income from the partnership is taxed at your personal tax rates, not some higher corporate rate. Plus, there's the QBID, the Qualified Business Income Deduction, which can significantly reduce how much of your income is taxable. Now on to S-Corporations. Most of CSI Accounting and Payroll's clients are S-Corps. A simple way to think about an S-Corp is to remember small corp. To be an S-Corp, you need to have less than 100 shareholders, all shareholders must be U.S. citizens, and you cannot be publicly traded on the stock exchange. This business entity debatably has the best all-around tax saving, although it may be lacking a little in medical benefits. Firstly, the income you earn isn't subject to Medicare and Social Security taxes, which means you get to keep a bit more of your money. Then, when you take money out of the company as distributions, those aren't double taxed, unlike some other business setups. As an owner, you have the option to contribute to retirement accounts, which is a smart move for two reasons. It helps you save for the future and reduces your taxable income today. Your taxes are based on personal tax rates, not the higher corporate rates making things simpler and potentially saving you money. And don't forget about the QBID, which also applies to S-Corps. And finally, C-Corps, or common corporations. C-Corps have no limit on shareholders, can include non-US citizen and entity shareholders, and can be publicly traded on the stock exchange. Mostly, this structure is only beneficial to very large businesses. Some tax advantages for C-Corps include being able to write off 100% of charitable contributions 
and having the best benefits for owners, such as a medical plan that's 100% paid for by the business. Choosing the right entity is like choosing a partner for the zombie apocalypse. It could save your life, or at least your wallet. Remember, there's no single entity that's best for taxes. It's choosing the best entity for your business that will benefit you the most tax-wise. So it's crucial to know what you're doing or to hire a professional accounting firm. Also, your business entity can change. For instance, at our firm, we examine your structure during onboarding, as well as around once per year or after a large change in your business. So if you're ready to take on the tax world with the best structure and strategy for your business, Give CSI Accounting and Payroll a shout. We're here to help you navigate tax savings all year round. Until next time, keep your profits high and your taxes low. See ya.